Robert Carlyle's here with me. He's asking me who won in the Golden <laughs> Globes. The reason he's here is because of this. <sighs> So that Her Majesty can authorise the necessary powers under the 2004 Civil Contingencies Act. This is now a national emergency. And Cobra will remain active to this conclusion. You are the Prime Minister there, aren't you? I am the Prime Minister, yeah. It's a new series on Sky One, uh -huh. Cobra. Yep. Tell me about it. Um, well, I played Robert Sutherland, who's the, the Prime Minister. He's been the Prime Minister for maybe about 18 months when this terrible space weather kind of phenomenon happens. Solar storm, which emanates obviously from the sun, hits the earth, knocks out all kind of communication, satellite, electrics and all of that. And the country's plunged into darkness. And then what happens? <laughs> Lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah. We were just saying it's very yeah. difficult to talk about it without giving it away. But yeah, because um, we don't want to give too much away as far as the storyline is concerned, but it is uh, basically about how a Prime Minister and his inner cabinet copes yeah. when there's a natural disaster. Yeah. And I was shocked by how quickly uh, the fabric of society can break down. Well, I, I think Ben Richards written some fantastic scripts and it seemed to me to be kind of very realistic what would happen in, in, that, in that instance, you know. This, uh, things go from bad to worse, basically, when this, this uh, phenomenon hits the country. Um, and of course, uh, they, they, they just don't know how to cope with it. They don't know how to kind of deal with this thing. Um, various little factions break up that kind of threaten Sutherland's leadership uh, of, his, of his party, and um, he has to try and cope with that. Uh, indeed. So while there's a lot of backstabbing going on around him, there is, of course, uh, as the Home happens Secretary. in politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Home Secretary's <laughs> a bit of a rug -on. Yeah, Home Secretary, played by the, the fantastic David Haig. Yeah. Um, he's my, my nemesis in this. And um, I think, look, look, it, the, again, one, one of the great things about the script, it seems so accurate that they're, they're, they're looking for any kind of sign of weakness, any kind of Achilles heel uh, they will go for. And uh, David Haig's um, Home Secretary certainly tries to do that. And the Prime Minister has a brilliant uh, gatekeeper who tries to protect him from yeah. pe other people within Cabinet who would yeah. uh, see him fall. Well, he's, he's Chief Secretary, um, Anna Marshall, played by the, the brilliant uh, Victoria Hamilton. Um, she's his, his right-hand woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and she kind of tries to help him through this, this, uh, this, this, this catastrophe. Um, but of course, uh, one of the, again, it's not just purely about the kind of um, the, 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 the solar we weather um, problem. Each one of these characters have different things happening in their, their private lives, which um, come to the, the fore. Anna Marshall has problems in her personal life. The Prime Minister himself has, has problems, uh, which is caused through his daughter, in actual fact. Um, which threatens, also threatens the leadership of the party. So uh, Anna Marshall, that, that, that part really is uh, fantastic. I mean, brilliantly played by Victoria. It's so tricky not to be able to give too much away, because I've seen all six episodes. It's amazing. The Prime Minister and the way that... Let's not give too much away, but the way that he dealt with the problems with his child... Mm. What did you think, as, as a parent yourself? Would you have dealt with it in that way? I think it's your worst nightmare. Mm. You know, I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got a 17-year-old daughter mm. myself. Um, <clears throat> Again, it's hard not to give it away, but something happens. Which <laughs> it's horrible for you <laughs> watching at home, is it? Yeah, we know exactly you, what's you, going on. You, you can only say to going, talk about things happens? and you can't talk yeah, about exactly. it, you know? I don't want to give it away. I know what I can ask you. Uh, your character based on anyone in particular? No one in particular, obviously. Are was... you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? No, there might be there was a bit there. of Tony Blair in there, wasn't there? <laughs> uh, well, perhaps. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's the great thing about the research for, for playing the Prime Minister. There's an awful lot of um, research material out there. And it was, it was kind of easy, really, to kind of pick on a few people here and then and put them, like, shuffle them together like a pack. Yeah, and we, we clarified at the time when I chatted to you and the other characters that the Home Secretary was definitely not based on Michael Gove. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not based on Michael Gove, as far as I know. Just to be clear, in case he's watching. But it's gone down so well that you've already... A second series has already been commissioned, and it's not even gone to air yet. So I understand, which is fantastic. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Certainly never happened before for me, so that's great. Why did you end enjoy working on this project so much? Um, well, I'd been working out in the, with uh, in US television for the past 10 years, and uh, that's a different animal entirely. That's so where you get your accent from. Has, has it changed? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> um, it's slightly Canadian, though. <laughs> uh, so it, it was lovely to come back. It was lovely to come back to, to the UK and lovely again to work in a kind of British, you know, 
television. It was this kind of where I came from. So it was kind of like returning home again, quite literally. Uh, I enjoyed it very, very much. And of course, working with uh, working with Sky with new pictures, he made it was a, was, a, was a, an absolute delight. And um, I'm up for another one. Seventeenth sure. of January. Seventeenth of January. All episodes. The way television is these days, you can watch every one of them in the same night if you wish. There you go. Do you remember I was showing off at the time, explaining to people what Cobra meant? Do you remember? Yes, it's a cabinet. Office briefing room A. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's something. great Remember to see something. you, and I'm looking forward to watching it all over again. Nice to see Thanks you. Thanks very too. much indeed for coming in. We really, really appreciate cheers. it.